Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for sulfur tetrafluoride. So here we go. Sulfur tetrafluoride is going to be SF4, which is going to give us six valence from the sulfur plus four fluorines, each with seven valence electrons, for a total of 34 valence electrons. All right. And we can go ahead and subtract out the largest multiple of 8, which is 32, which gives you 2 electrons remaining. Divide that by 2, gives you 1 pair. And 32 equals 8 times 4. So this means that the shape is going to be an AX4, this 4 coming from here, E1, 1 from here, meaning a central atom surrounded by 4 peripheral atoms, and the central atom also has 1 non-bonding pair of electrons. Okay, So let's go ahead and draw this shape. You have the sulfur in the center surrounded by the four fluorines. And we can single bond all the fluorines together, or all the fluorines to the sulfurs rather, and then uh, fill in their octets. Okay, so there's your 32 electrons. And we also have to add in this non bonding pair on the sulfur, so let's just put that right there. All right. So now let's go ahead and check the formal charges and make sure it's, to make sure that this is the uh, correct structure. So the formal charges first on the sulfur is going to be the uh, six valence brought in minus one, two, three, four bonds minus two non-bonding electrons for formal charge zero. Okay. Now the formal charge on each of the fluorines. And notice that they're all the same setup, so their formal charges will all be equal. It's seven valence brought in minus one bond for each, minus two, four, six electrons, non-bonding electrons on each each fluorine for a formal charge also of zero. Times that by four because there's four of the fluorines, and you sum this up, and it gives us a formal charge of zero, which is what we want because this is a non-charged particle. Okay. Now let's talk about the shape. Um, AX4E1, four surrounding atoms and one non-bonding pair of electrons is the uh, seesaw shape, all right? It's kind of hard to picture, but just this is the information for it. With the seesaw shape, the bond angles are, there's a couple of them, they're approximately equal to 90 degrees on some parts, 117 degrees and also 180 degrees okay so those are your three different bond angles for this seesaw shape okay in terms of hybridization there's one two three four five electron groups so that you're going to need five orbitals so sp3 d one s three p's one d sp3 d hybrid five orbitals five electron groups all right and then Due to this non-bonding electron pair, this is going to be a polar um, compound. All right, that is pretty much it for this compound. If you have any questions, let me know. And thank you for watching.